as you can see in the question this question is of 8 marks so what you should do so that you can achieve the full marks first thing is you should always write the formulas second you should write the units whenever you are finding out the forces you should always write the units even you are finding out the resultant your d x intercept y intercept you should always write the units as well as at the end you should make the diagram because all these things contains this is our square question in which some inclined forces are given the square is having two meter length and these are the forces which are there so first thing is you should know how to resolve the forces because whatever calculations we'll be doing will be doing in the x direction and in the y direction so if some any inclined forces are there how to resolve them in x or y direction you should know that so the formula what we are using here is theta is given from the x axis what we'll be doing will be doing f cos theta so wherever theta is there we have to put cos other one is sine similarly we'll take up one more example if theta is given from the y axis in that case from wherever theta is given you have to take that resolution force as cos mostly students do this mistake as they get confused in sine and cos so from wherever theta is given you resolve that force into cos and the other one is sine you have to check that the forces are going in the positive x direction and positive y direction because the sine convention what we are taking is positive x is positive and positive y is positive others are negative so here we are writing your fx will be sine and your fy will be cos because from wherever theta is given you have to do it cos so in this question magnitude direction and position of the forces are asked so first thing is we'll be writing the formulas for that this is your r that is resultant and next one is your direction that is theta this says tan inverse summation fy by fx so this is your magnitude and direction next we are coming on to the position in position we have to find out three things that is your d x intercept and y intercept for that we have to take one moment at a particular point of the whole system so that is your summation m by r r is your resultant for x intercept we have summation m by summation fy so your fx fy will be calculating with this and next is your y intercept so these are the formulas what we are going to use next is so um, next is will be drawing the line diagram in which we'll be resolving all the forces so you have to just do as i'm doing you have to place the tip of the pen on to the force and you have to resolve it like this so like this and like this you have to resolve the forces in the direction always remember you have to place the tip of the pen into the direction of the force like that you have to resolve all the forces afterwards we'll be using the formula and we'll be putting up the forces so this is the formula what we are going to use so your this force your 45 is given from the x axis so we'll be resolving it and this one will be your 50 cos 45 degree and the vertical down will be your sine so this one will be 50 sine 45 degree next one is your 45 kilo newton force so this one will be sine because the theta is given from the vertical so the other one will be sine and from where theta is given will be your cos so this one will be cos since theta is given from here so this will be cos other one will be sine so like this we have to write down all our forces in the resolved one and we have to simplify our diagram the next thing is will be started solving for fx and fy will be finding out our resultant for that what we need we will be identifying all the forces which are going in the purely x direction and the forces which are purely in the y direction 
So, what sign convention we are taking is positive x is positive and positive y is positive. This is our sign convention. So, we will be using this and we will be writing down all the forces. So, we will be starting from 50 cos 45. So, this one is going in the negative x direction. So, we will be writing it as negative. This is negative x direction. So, we will be putting it as negative. Just simply look down for all the purely x direction forces and just look that it is going in the positive direction or negative direction and write it down. So, here we are, we have written all the positive x direction forces. Just sum it up in your calculator and write down the answer. Next, we will be finding out the Fy. So, we have to identify all the forces in the vertical direction and just sum it up looking down that which one is positive and which one is negative. So, first one is going in the down direction, so negative. The second one is also going in the down direction, so negative. This 60 force is coming upward, so it is positive. Sum it up in your calculator and here is the answer for that. Next, we have to check for the moment at A. So, for the moment at A, we have to first check all the forces. What are the forces which are making a couple effect or a moment at A? So, first thing is this one. This is going and meeting A. We need a perpendicular distance for the moment. This one is not applicable. Now, this force, it is also going and meeting A. We, we can extend the forces and we can check that if it is going and meeting or if it is not going. So, this one is not going. We can extend the forces and we can identify the perpendicular distance between the point. So, what students do commit mistake is they take the diagonal distance like this 45 force is at the the diagonal so they they take the diagonal distance which is not there we have to take the perpendicular distance so for this one this is going in the anti-clockwise direction so your anti-clockwise direction will be negative multiplied by the distance so the distance is your two meters we are taking clockwise as positive so this one will be negative so i am writing here negative the force into the perpendicular distance, yes, this complete one is a force into the perpendicular distance is 2. The next one is, this one is clockwise itself and need not to multiply it with the any distance because itself it is a moment. What students commit mistake is they multiply the distance also. Next one, your 45 sine, the perpendicular distance is 2. Now, your 45 cos, again the perpendicular distance is 2. You have to just check this that it is going in the clockwise direction or in the anti-clockwise direction. Now, the next one is your 60 cos 35 degree. You have to check that the forces are going in the clockwise direction or in the anti-clockwise direction. Here, we are taking clockwise as positive. Clockwise or anti-clockwise, you have to check it. Uh, do not take the diagonal distance. You have to always take the perpendicular distance for it. So, here we are. We are on to this force. So, this is coming out to be anti-clockwise. So, I am putting a negative sign here. So, I am writing and the distance will be 2 again because we have to take the perpendicular distance. So, your M is coming out to be this much. So, now we are we are having fx, fy and now your m is also there. We will be just substituting the values into the formulas and we will be finding out the final answers. Now, here we are. We will be using the formula. So, your resultant is this much and your theta that is your direction is this much. So, we will be using it and we will be finding out the answers. So, uh, our resultant came out to be this much, simply fx square plus fy square under root taken and this is your r. So, next is we will be taking the theta that is tan inverse fx, uh, uh, sorry fy upon fx. So, here we will be writing. So, here we got a negative answer. So, your theta or the direction is coming out to be negative. Your answers are incomplete if you are not plotting the answers into a figure. So, you have to plot R and you have to make theta. You have to represent it into a figure. Then only the answer will be completed. Most students, what they commit mistake is they forgot this figure. You have to make this figure to get the final and full marks. 
so next we are coming on to the position so our magnitude and direction part is done the next we are coming on to the position so for position we have d x and y intercept we will be using the ma what we have calculated before so your r we have already calculated summation fx fy everything we are having just put it into the formula put it into the calculator at the end the plotting part is important because for that only many students lose two to three marks even their answers and their questions are correct but they lose marks because they they are not plotting the final figure so here we are we are just simply putting the things into the formula and we are finding out the d x intercept and y intercept so here we are summation m upon summation fx and uh, always remember that these things are modular so only positive value will come out no negative values will be there so always remember to put the units see i am writing meter and kilonewton we are on to the final step plotting part is there so uh, this is 28.78 and this one is 37.88 just simply plot it into the figure and mark it up put a scale make a line so what is d what is d so from the origin the line joining the origin and this intercept is your d this one is your d thank you for watching